Good morning, everyone. Brother James here. I just want to give you a video message this morning. First off, I'd like to say happy 4th of July and welcome here to the woods this morning. Uh, this is my one of my favorite time of the year. Um, there's a lot of uh, <clears throat> fruit trees that are producing their fruit. There's strawberries. There are plums. There are blackberries. So this time of year that kind of reminds me when I lived back home um, mom used to make blackberry pies and jams and jellies and we would go out uh, my brothers and sisters uh, would go out and go pick the blackberries and one thing I noticed about picking the blackberry is sometimes blackberries are easy to get to usually there are far and few between if you pull over to the side of the road and or find a, a little patch or a thick patch of blackberries. A lot of times there, are, you know, there's a path just up front just to pick easy ones. But the big juicy blackberries are usually tucked away in back, protected by a bunch of briars and thorns and whatnot. So in order to get the sweet fruit, in order to obtain the sweet fruit, there has to be some work. You have to put blue jeans on, make sure you're taped off so you don't get the chiggers on your legs. Uh, make sure you wear a long sleeve shirt so you won't get scratched up from the, from the thorns. But when you finally reached your destination, when you pressed in further in, into the blackberry bush, which takes effort, you will come out with a wonderful piece of fruit. You'll come out with that big blackberry. You'll come out with many of them. Because nobody does not want to do the work to get to the middle of the patch. Same thing with God's Word. Is that if we want to extract the fruit of God's Word, we have to dig. We have to labor. We have to take our time to rightly divide the Word of God. And take our time to extract the, the, the sweetness of God out of his word because his word does the work his word does the work in us and the Holy Spirit in, inside of us will act upon that word to bring about his will so I want to read to you a few passages about his word this may appear to be a topical message um, but I'm going to try and not to inject my thoughts into the scripture let the scripture speak for itself but I like this time of year because it just reminds me of the goodness, the goodness and the blessings of God. So first scripture I'd like to go to is Psalm 119. I'm going to bounce around just a little bit. Um, so if, if you can stay with me, that would be great. Um, so you can see where, where I'm coming from. So first scripture is Psalm 119 verse 2. It says, Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with a whole heart. And just like that blackberry. When you see this patch of blackberries or that fruit in the middle of the patch, we, we're, we, we're wanting to seek it. We're going to use everything we have. We're going to use all our tools to get to that fruit. We're going to take the time to dress properly. We're going to seek that fruit with our whole heart, with our whole being. And that's what he wants us to do with his word. We, we want to seek him study not just view the bible as as poetry or as just a good book he wants us to study rightly dividing the word of god so that was the first verse so let's go move on over to um same psalm 119 105 um says this the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path then we can move over to second timothy 2 15 let's go there it says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So Paul here is talking to uh, Timothy, and, and he says here, I like how he starts out in the beginning of the chapter. And it says, thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Once we start studying God's word, grace will illuminate from the page. Grace will be the major theme of the Bible. God is merciful. He is love. 
He is grace. And also, you know, Jesus, he is a warrior as well. He wants us to put on the whole armor of God. He wants us to stand firm, stand fast in his word as well. Um, so as when you read the word, it'll produce a fruit in you of gratitude. Because when you realize what grace does, when you realize the fruit of grace is gratitude, that's the place we serve from. That's the place where we want to preach from the rooftops of the true gospel of Jesus Christ, the death, the burial, and the resurrection, and what, what that means, and what Jesus did on that cross. He paid our sin debt. We need to know that. We need to realize that. We need to communicate that effectively and clearly to whoever we are talking to, preaching the gospel, preachers in the pulpit, whether it's us out here uh, ministering on the streets or in the jail or in our workplaces. People need to know what the true gospel is about. That comes from proper understanding of what Jesus did on that cross, the work of cross, the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ to pay our sin debt, past, present, and future sins. So, again, studies show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Uh, next verse... All scripture is given. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it is profitable for doctrine, for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So as you go out this 4th of July, if you are a, back, a blackberry picker or uh, you take advantage of the seasons of the, of the blessings of God here, he has given us, think about God's word. Think about the labor that we need to put into our scripture reading for our study, studying for ourselves, rightly divided. And so we can take advantage of God's fruit, the sweetness of scripture, the sweetness of grace, and it'll surely bless you. But if you are listening to this video message right now, if you just happen to come along and say, what's this guy talking about in the woods? My prayer is that you will consider your destination. Wouldn't that be nice to know where you're going? Wouldn't that be nice to know that you know that you know that you are going to heaven and you could know today that you're going? That's what the, that's what the, the word of God teaches, that you may, you can know that you're going, that you're a child of God. It is by placing your trust, believing in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for all of your sins, past, present, and future. There was a sin. There was sin placed on you from, from the beginning of time through Adam. He brought sin to the world and it was passed down to every human being. But the goal of Satan is to keep you away from the gospel. That's his mission. Because the doorway is Jesus. There's only one door. And that is Jesus Christ. That is Jesus Christ's death, burial, and the resurrection. You place your trust. You put your full weight your full trust. You stop trusting in yourself. Go from unbelief to belief. You have to repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Repent from your unbelief, sin of unbelief, to belief in Jesus Christ, the death, burial, and the resurrection for the payment of, your, of that sin debt. There has to be a payment for that. Either you're going to pay it or Jesus can pay it for you right now. And realize that God loves you just the way you are. You come as you are. doesn't matter who you are. It's the whosoever. But when you place your trust and believe that God did that for you, He saves you. He seals you. And you're ready for the blessed hope, which is the rapture. But that's all I have for right now. I hope you enjoyed this quick video message. Happy 4th of July. And go out, pick those blackberries, make the cobbler. Anyway, I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.